Hello everyone, welcome to session 3 of module 6, Creating and Managing Kanban Boards in Jira. In this session, I'll explain you how you can create a new Kanban board and configure it. So in order to create a Kanban board, you need to go to Agile tab at the top, so click the drop down and select Manage Boards. It will open all the existing boards. It will show you the list of all the existing boards that are present. Either they are of Scrum or Kanban. And you can create a new board by clicking on Create Board button at the right hand corner. So in order to create Kanban board, you need to click on Create a Kanban board. If you don't want to create a sample data, you can directly click on Create a Kanban board with sample data. So I'll create a Kanban board because I have already created a project with sample data. So here you have again three options as we had in you know for Scrum. So you, you can select new project and a new board. You can select board from an existing project. I'll select the second option because I have select I have already created a project with the test data to demo the Kanban board. Hit next provide the name for the board so demo kanban board and the project in which i have my test data is demo test project and then just hit create board so it says success kanban board demo kanban board has been created now you are on the kanban board so before before progressing further you first need to map the workflow. So by default, it has picked the workflow and you need to map all the phases of the workflow with the Kanban board. So in order to configure the workflow, just go to board at the right hand side in the corner, click on configure. So by default, it, so if you see the columns here, click on columns and you see the column that are available on the Kanban board are to do in progress and done so and there are certain unmapped statuses in the workflow that that are not mapped so you won't be if a issue in it isn't done you won't be able to see the issue unless and until you move this status done from unmapped status to this um, column done and to do will be moved into to-do list so because my default workflow has to do open in progress resolve done closed and reopen so these are the statuses that are supported in the default workflow so we need to map these statuses accordingly to the columns that are there in the Kanban if you want to add a column in a, a more one more column in the Kanban then you can add a column by just clicking on add column uh, button here at the top so i have changed the statuses i have mapped the status to the kanban board i'll go back to demo kanban board and um, you can see now in the to do list you can see certain user stories that are in the to do list there are no user stories in progress and some of the user stories are already done so suppose as in session one we understood that kanban can be thought of as a pipeline wherein in the left hand side you pump in the requirements in the to-do list and then developers pick up those requirements work on them they move to in progress and then finally they are done and you release whenever there is a substantial amount of user stories or defects fixed so suppose this is the user story and you want to move it to in progress so it will be assigned to some developer he will just open the user story uh, he'll start the progress so to change the status to in progress he'll just press in progress and now this user story should move to in progress in the Kanban so now you can see that uh, it has moved to in progress and once it will be, uh, the status will be changed to done it will move into done column here and then once everything has been all the user stories are done there are substantial amount of user stories 
completed click on release and you can release uh, you can release the uh, minor version or uh, the major version whatever then uh, in order to configure the board um, you need to go to board and configure you can copy the board you can create a board in order to delete the board you need to go to agile and go to manage boards again you can configure the board from here itself you can copy it and you can delete the board from here so that is pretty much about how you can develop kanban board and customize different um, life cycle uh, phases with the with the different um, columns of the Kanban board. Thank you.